welcome student uh, today i am going to discuss about uh, the flower from ncert class 11 it will be applicable for neat also so let's start the flower the flower so uh, here some important terms are given so that terms i will try to discuss elaborately so here first uh, bold term is given that thalamus and receptacle thalamus t a j l a m u s thalamus and receptacle r e c p t a c l e receptacle so that is uh, given in page number uh, page number 62 uh, the uh, ncert book uh, so, thalamus and receptacle, what is thalamus actually? Actually see here this is a, suppose this is the portion of the flower and uh, on this portion other sepals and petals and other parts gynoecium and racium is uh, uh, fixed or um, uh, they are placed on the thalamus, on, on this portion. So, this portion will be called then thalamus, okay, this portion will be called as thalamus or receptacle. So, these are the calyx, corolla, androecium and gynoecium uh, holding part, the, especially these parts hold androecium, gynoecium, calyx, corolla, etc. So, this is the matter, so thalamus uh, is over, uh, but one important thing is that in the case of false fruit like apple. Suppose, suppose this is the apple, so in this apple you know that uh, this is not a true fruit because here pericarp is not present or such pericarp is not fleshy or not edible. So here what is the edible part? Edible part is actually the thalamus, when thalamus will bulge, bulges and it will uh, become fleshy and then it will convert into uh, apple fruit, but actually that is not the fruit, okay. So this is the thalamus. Now next term is given that bisexual and unisexual flower, very easy term is given bisexual and, and unisexual flower, bisexual and unisexual, so bisexual and unisexual, already in the name only, only it is uh, uh, cleared that bisexual means by two, two sex organs are there, two sex organs are there and here one sex, sex organs are there. So by bisexual, so here male and female both part will be available, male and female both part will be available, but here unisexual either it will male will be present or female will be present. Okay. So, male either male or female uh, will be present, so that is why it is unisexual. So, for example, cucurbita, cucurbita um, uh, is uh, cucurbita flower is one type of unisexual flower, okay. So, that is over. Uh, now, next one is the actinomorphic and zygomorphic, Act actinomorphic and zygomorphic, see. Suppose this is the flower. Suppose this is a flower, actually my drawing is not so good, uh, anyway just to think that it is a good drawing, okay one minute. Suppose think this is a, uh, this is a flower and this is the middle portion. And uh, if you can divide the flower into equal to halves from any side, if suppose suppose this is one half, and uh, if you cut the flower in this portion, then this portion and this portion will be looking liquid, will look uh, equal or same, or if you cut in this portion, then also it will be this portion and this portion will be same, same looking same size everything will be same okay so that type of flower but here my drawing is not a perfectly done so here some mistakes may happen uh, but uh, think that everything is okay 
and uh, just uh, any from any angle from any uh, plane we can divide the flower into two equal halves so it will be called actinomorphic actinomorphic flower actinomorphic flower so uh, it is actually radially symmetrical flower now zygomorphic achha, actinomorphic flower one symbol is there that is the symbol of actinomorphic flower when i will discuss about the symbol then it will be clear now next one is zygomorphic zygomorphic suppose this is the flower suppose uh, this is one flower okay so think now this flower cannot be divided into uh, equal to halves in any plane but only one plane will be possible in that plane if you divide it then it will be divided into two parts okay so in that case means only bilateral symmetrical bilaterally symmetrical this is actually bilaterally symmetrical so bilaterally symmetrical and uh, uh, so this type of flower will be called zygomorphic zygomorphic okay and their sign one sign is given this type of one sign will be given in the zygomorphic flower <coughs> so that is the matter so zygomorphic so many flower example are there like gulmohor bean cassia so these are the uh, zygomorphic then the next term is given that uh, the flower may be trimerous tetramerous and pentamerous these three terms are given trimerous trimerous tetramerous and pentamerous So here tri means you know three, tetra means four, penta means five. So the flower parts, the fl fl uh, when the floral appendages are multiples of three, floral appendages are multiples of three man, means it may be three or three two is a six or three three is a nine, like that way it can be arranged. Or in the case of tetramerous, four into so uh, either it may be 4 or 4 into 2 8 4 into 3 12 or pentamerous means 5 or its multiple 5 into 2 10 5 into 3 15 so like that way uh, the floral appendages will be uh, arranged so flower um, uh, um, so this is this type of so um, if in the 3 and 3 multiples are there then it will be called trimerous when 4 and 4 multiples will be given then it will be tetramerous and when 5 and 5 multiples will be given then pentamerous okay now next that is bracted or and e bracted the flowers with bract reduced leaf found at the base of the pedicel are called bracteole bracteate bracted so actually here suppose uh, this is the flower this is the flower and in this flower uh, bracts are actually uh, reduced leaf found at the base of the pedicel means here this is the pedicel portion and just at the base here one leaf like structure will be present so that type of reduced leaf life like structure will be called bracteate 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 okay so now uh, if this type of bracteate is not there then it will be called e bracteate okay e bracteate bracteate e bracteate so e means eliminated so bracteate and e bracteate so this term is over now main important very much important term and confusing term is that that is the hypogynous and epigynous flower so let us see the page number 63 so here uh, telling that uh, based on the position of the calyx corolla and androecium in the respect of the ovary on thalamus the flower are described 
as hypogynous, perigynous and epigynous. So, here 5.3 one uh, figure is also given here see 5.3 one sorry 5.9 picture is given. So, here picture I cannot draw such type of picture now, but uh, just ok I am trying to uh, explain it in the diagrammatic way. So, first term is the three terms are given here hypogynous, next term is given epigynous, next term is given perigynous. So, hypogynous, epigynous and perigynous. So, gynous means what? Gynoecium. Gynous came from gynoecium and hypha means down, epi means up, peri means parallel. So, hypogynous means actually in Bengali if I write it should be it is so Bengali students can write um, can remember in this way that gynoecia hypogynous means gynoecia mere niche gyno is am air niche k air niche k other parts other parts of flower so that is the hypogynous so here what is the definition is given in the hypogynous flower the gynoecium occupy the highest position while the other parts are situated below so, gynoecium is the highest position means gynoecium er niche, gynoecium er niche, hypo money actually down, but uh, do not think that uh, hypogynous means gynoecium is down, just it is the opposite gynoecium er niche means gynoecium will be the higher position, gynoecium will be the higher position and other parts will be the lower position. So, means this type of ovary will be called what this type of ovary will be superior ovary just a minute superior superior ovary superior ovary ovary ok flower is hypogynous and that is flower ok flower is hypogynous and the ovary is superior ovary here this is just opposite that gynoecium just you will remember only one one you will remember other will automatically come in your mind. So, hypogynous means gynoecium er niche means if uh, gynoecium means this ovary person will be the superior person. So, that is why superior ovary. Now, epigynous means gynoecium er <coughs> gynoecium er upuri. Take gynoecium er gynoecium er upuri. Air upore ekathara just add hoche again. Air upore. Hypomane niche no problem. Gynoecium means gyno gynas means gynoecium no problem. But this air kathara jukto hoche ki air. Ita bola mane puro term ta change hoye jache. So hypo gynoecium air upore. Mane other parts will be suppose this is the gynoecium. Other parts will be in this way. Okay, this is the gynoecium. Other parts will be this in this way. So then this type of ovary is obviously this is the uh, inferior ovary. So, this type of ovary will be called inferior ovary, inferior ovary ok. So, superior ovary, inferior ovary and in the case of perigynous it will be just uh, you can see the picture 5.9 uh, picture number C, peri means just middle portion means uh, this will be the uh, ovary and from here only the other parts will be arised. So, here peri, perigynous means it will be near about uh, same parallel, parallel or uh, in the same <coughs> level. So, here in the picture it is given that position of the floral parts on thalamus hypogynous and B and C perigynous and then D is the epigynous. So, already I have discussed all of this. So, this is the matter and uh, you have to remember some example it will be better for suppose for uh, uh, inferior suppose a rose, rose is inferior uh, ovary. So, rose is inferior means this is uh, epigynous is a flower 
example is rose you can tell it okay so like that way some uh, flower you can remember uh, so inferior uh, so guava and uh, uh, this guava flower guava you will see guava suppose suppose guava this type of structure is given and here some you know remaining parts are there so those parts are actually the other parts of the flower and these parts is actually the ov ov ovary okay and inside the ovary ovules are present so means this type of fruit is having the inferior inferior ovary inferior ovary or we can tell it epigynous epigynous inferior ovary or epigynous you can see here inferior ovary or epigynous okay means gynoecium er upore mane sob kichu gynoecium er upore ache okay so that is the matter so this type of some example uh, you can remember but in the case of superior suppose china rose brinjal so they are uh, mustard flower so they are all the um, all are uh, superior ovary okay so that is the matter and uh, other up to this much so this is the main important some terms was given so that terms uh, page number 62 uh, the flower from ncert class 11 okay so today up to this much thank you